What is up, everybody? Mikey Dare Panzerate here with the Peaks. Hi. And uh, we're uh, doing that whole World War II thingy. Um, so uh, I'm just gonna pause real quick. Okay, so we can do a war bonds, war propaganda against Yugoslavia. Well, we're at 100% war support, so uh, don't worry about that. Definitely gonna pick up war bonds, and so um. So we're just so we're getting Tannenbaum research. So in 70 days we'll be able to invade Switzerland. But uh, let's start going around the Maginot, shall we? Okay. So uh, declare war on just the Netherlands. So right click on the Netherlands. Oh no, it's just if I would cancel. Declare war. Send. And uh, send that. Uh, send the army. Uh, Send the army to go. I think it's a. It's, uh, it's a castle ring. Uh, he's the he's the K. Yeah, I got him. Yep, there we go, and that shouldn't take too long. Yep, and so once we're done with the Netherlands, I'm gonna put up. Oh, the Dutch East Indies! Oh no, we're doomed. Let's see how many troops they have. All oh, they actually have some troops. That's that's surprising. How about we give France to uh, nationalist Spain? Would they accept that? If they join the war, we could give them land in the peace deal. Cause I don't want to have to deal with France. <laughs> All right, we can take a bit of it. I just don't want to have to deal with the French. Yeah, I feel it. Okay, so um, I'm going to draw a line for Kessel Ring. All right, let's um, and Italy declared war on Greece. Isn't that great? Okay, so yeah, does he he sells a pretty good planning mouse. Okay, let's see. What do we want to do? Let's let's do uh some stuff with all of this. Okay, um, who the hell, Tungsten? Damn it, Sweden. Please trade with us. Please be nice. Um, okay, now... We, we don't want to have to invade you two. I mean, we can, but, all right, uh, you can go ahead and declare war on Belgium. I'll declare war on Luxembourg and, uh... Can we keep Luxembourg? Like, leave Please? it? Please. Yeah. We can make it like a fascist puppet after the war. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Um, or there's uh, the Reich Commissarats or whatever that we can get later. We have a uh, air doctrine we can get. Let's get that. Oh, um, apparently, uh, so we did the national focus for the uh, Strat Bomber uh, stuff, uh -huh. right? You want to get that? I think so. Yeah, do it. Okay, let's um, let's get better strategic bombers. There we go. Um, all right, so let's. Uh, I'm going to declare war on uh, on uh, Luxembourg, and I'm also going to declare war on Belgium. And uh, that is how you go around the magic now. Okay. Uh, well, Luxembourg has capitulated. All right, so we're gonna get Rommel to keep going. So I'm gonna draw, so just kinda watch what I'm doing. I'm gonna draw like a spearhead to like right, no, let's not do that. Um, to, for him to go south. Do it to like Dijon. All the way to Dijon? You think he can do that? Honestly, he might just micromanage him a little bit. So, all right. So basically what I'm gonna tell Rommel to do is I'm going to have Rommel to try and go around the Maginot, or in kind of uh, surround the Maginot line and cut them off, and while the rest of our forces just kind of go all around France. Uh, you want to assign this? Go ahead and assign these factories to whatever you want. Okay, well that's fun. Um, I would say we Dunkirk them, but no one's at Dunkirk. Dunkirk. Okay, wait. I... 
now things are getting a little crazy. So basically, we're just kind of going now. Um, if if you want to if you want to try and do more, just let me know. I'm just trying yeah, to. Yeah, I huh? think we're probably good. Yeah, I mean it's not. I'm just trying to do the. The only, okay, so me micromanaging things right now is to make things go faster and not necessarily... Oh, wait, let's not, let's not have you do that. Um, not necessarily... Uh, oh, our summary... Uh, what our what summary research just got, do you want to? What's that? What research do you want to take? Uh, take whatever you want. You make, the, you make those decisions now. I am going to be strictly combat. Um, what is the Neville Verfer? Um, rocket artillery. It's like art. So, it's like artillery. It's just it's better on the attack. It, that's probably not worth it. Uh, at this point, not really. Also, like the entirety of our U-boat force got got murdered. Uh, Tiger tank. Is it ahead of time? Yeah, but only, uh, it's like 1941. Keep in mind, we're gonna have to completely build and design a new, uh, new, um, a new line. So we're, we're not using heavy tanks right now. Uh... It's not like, you know, how, you, like, historically or whatever, like, your life is like, yeah, just, you know, everyone kinda, um, do their own thing, sort of. Um, you know, tanks are tanks are tanks or whatever. Yeah, but, uh, in the game, within the context of the game, you have to like design and make everything its own. We should probably start working on the fighters. On a newer fighters? Yeah, I agree with that. That sounds like a good idea. Go ahead and do that. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> oh, this gets easier every patch, I swear. Jesus. That was very fast. Oh my god. This gets easier every patch. Oh, we got we there's there's some holdouts in breast. Go get go 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 get the breast. One second, I gotta uh, do a new research. Um I mean we just got encryption, so we're doing atomic research right now. Um, oh god, we have so much going on. Uh, okay. 1941 uh, industry. Sure. Um, advanced oil processing or dispersed industry four. Um, do the oil one. We're hurting on oil. All right, I'm assigning, so I'm assigning divisions to our little uh, defensive line over here. Our little yeah. uh, to uh, guard the ports in like the Netherlands and all that. Um, actually, we can get rid of that one. All right, we need another defensive army. Okay, let's give you. The crappiest general we have, who is quite reckless. There's no way this is ever gonna back. This is ever gonna backfire. Let's see. One, two. Share Borg. Three. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Um, do you want to send Heinz to go help in Greece? Uh, the, the, let the Italians get there. Let the Italians deal with it? Yeah. Alright, so, um... One thing I'm going to point out here. So you see we have a new decision available called Dismantle the Maginot Line. Yeah. By doing what? that, basically what, hap what that does is says, 
Um, oh, we need a uh, naval stuff. Come on. So basically, all that is is says um, we're also like super low on oil. Good God. Um, what that does is it basically destroys the Maginot Line and gives us a production bonus towards building forts. Yeah, why don't we? Uh, well, here's 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 my plan. Here's what I think we should do. Um, first of all, we're gonna just absolutely murder Switzerland because there's no reason not to at this point. Um, you know, the casualties will be worth it. Uh, but whenever the Soviets attack, here's here's my okay. So the Soviets are saying claims on Poland right now, uh -huh. which means we might have to fight the Soviets sooner than we would like. Um, so what I suggest, an idea would be to build a line of forts, like along the, the river that goes by Warsaw. I don't know what river that is in real life. Um, to build a line of forts on our side of that river and hope hungry. Yeah, so doesn't dismantling the Maginot help with that? It does, but we're currently building, uh, synthetic plants because if you'll check, we're, we're down 40 in oil. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, our oil situation is quite dire. Okay, what do we... Well, if we have to fight the Soviets, then, um... Thanks, since we've got uh, a seaport on Romania, why don't we start planning a naval invasion of the Caucasus Mountains? Of the Caucasus we can absolutely fields. do that. I like that idea. Let's go into resource map mode. Um... Oh, no, yeah, we totally got that. Mm-hmm land right here on this port in Georgia and then just go like jut right into the oil field and we'd have them cut off. Land land on that, that port by the or right, right by Turkey. The 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 adjacent one? Okay. Yeah. Also don't forget we can go with um once we do war with the USSR. So let's do anti commentary pact soon. Or oh we can do Alliance of Spain. So now that we beat France we can kind of go, hey, Franco, you feel a little safer now, don't you? Wait, that, that's a, a national focus? That is an option we do have at this moment, yes. Uh, it's under national focuses, though? Yeah. I don't see Alliance with Spain. Uh, look around where it says Alliance with Italy. Uh, oh, there you are. Okay, so there we go. We can do that. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds fun. It does sound fun. Then we can befriend Turkey. Yep. Um, so do you want to start getting divisions on the Russian border? Right. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think that could hurt. After we do Tannenbaum, which doesn't look like it's going to be that much longer. All right. Oh, oh that's right. We have, a, we have a dude who has... The dude who was sitting on the Maginot, I completely oh, forgot about his awesome. army. <laughs> so now I'm just reassigning his army to um gar to uh you know something tells me the allies might try some naval invasions. Not an, yeah. not an expert. Oh well, do you want to do Atlantic Wall then? We could do Atlantic Wall. Um, that would help. That yeah, that might actually be a good. Well, they're one not gonna try now. What's that? They're not gonna try a naval invasion now. No, it and it does take them some time to plan it and everything like that. So, yeah. yeah then we do alliance with Spain, then Atlantic Wall. Okay, I like that. Alliance with Spain, Atlantic Wall, and we start planning the uh, invasion of the Caucasus Mountains through Romania now. Yep. Um, and while wh wh while we're here, or I might I might just send Heinz to um to. Take care of the Italians' business. Why, though? I mean, I know. They're about to get Athens. Oh, are they? I think. Oh, no. No. Athens is down here. <laughs> Geography is hard. Uh? Senioritis kicking in. Yeah, senioritis is really kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> it's after Easter. I mean, I've got 20 days left. Oh, boy. Okay, so... Uh... I will be playing Hoy in class. <laughs> it's a, it's, I'm learning history, Dr. T uh, uh, I can't use her name on YouTube video. She get mad. Uh, teacher person. I can't. I can't I'm, I'm learning history, teacher person. 
Ah, okay, Doctor let's... Teacher. All right, Heinz, go go fix shit for Italy. All right, so Heinz, you ever do watched that. the league? What's that? You watched the league, right? I've seen clips. Oh, you gotta watch the whole series. You love it. Well, they took it you off got... of Netflix. Yeah, I know. That's really a shame. They got this whole bit. One of the guys, his name is Andre Nozick. And I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna tell you what the episode's about, but one of the jokes in that if one of the episodes is Cockter Andre Nose Dick. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay. It's a very, very funny episode. You really need to watch it. Alright, so the guy that, um, the guy that was guarding the Maginot, uh -huh. his, his army's down to only five divisions, but we're training more for him. If you want to use those five to start your, um, Inv your start your planned invasion. I want to do it with uh... naval invasions with tanks is a very bad idea. Not yeah, a, I, mm, not necessarily. I mean, it could work. It's just Kessel Ring, maybe. Well, Kessel Ring, or we could use the guy that um. No, we need hell for the USSR. Yeah, no, and we're we're gonna that. When do we get Tannenbaum? Seventeen days. Who's uh? How does somebody have seventy-two armies under their command? Garrison. Uh. Yeah, whenever you garrison, you get more divisions. Yeah. Which speaking of, I need to put France in our garrison because. <sighs> okay, so no Rommel, no, no Heinz. No, yeah, they're gonna be used. You know. The whole. Um, no, I think Kessel Ring's probably our best bet. Uh, what about uh, the the main? Who's the army? Or Vitzelbein, Vitzelbein, or whatever. Vitzelbein. He's the um, he's the he's the Maginot guy. Where is he? He's the he's the G army. He only has four divisions. Yeah, why would we want that? Well, you can start the naval invasion plan with just the four, and I'm training more divisions to buff up his army, so. Okay, let's see if I remember how to do this. Yeah, so just select him, click uh -huh. on the anchor, click on the port, uh, and then right-click on the destination. Uh, what port do we want to go through? Yeah, doesn't really matter. And then right click on the destination. Um, I have I have some bad my, my I have bad news. What? All of our submarines have been sunk. That's fun. Every single one. So I'm. You remember what I said in a previous episode where um, uh, deploy them in Brest. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay. But uh, so. Yeah, so we got that. What? It's our resource problems. Tungsten. <sighs> yeah, we're about to fix that with Sweden, though, if they don't really... Uh... No, it's the, th the thing is, we're not going to get more. They're giving us all they have, for the most part, I think. Maybe. Well, uh... Whatchamacallit? Um, Greece has got some tungsten. Do they now? Yeah. Does Italy have anything worth trading? Yeah, but Italy is only offering three. Oh, also, Heinz is on the border. Also, it's the end of the episode. So, oh, okay. um, next episode on Hearts of Iron 4, we're actually going to invade Switzerland. We prepare for the invasion of the USSR, which looks glorious. Oh, we're also going to have to get a navy in the Black Sea to do this naval invasion, don't forget. Yeah, once we get Greece, I don't think this going to be a problem. Naval superiority. Uh... Has the Italian Navy... The Italian Navy's been slaughtered because the AI doesn't know how to manage navies. That's fun. Um, we could use our submarines to do it. All zero of them. No. Yeah. But... Anyways, anyway, in the episode... Uh, that, that, that's it for this episode. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel, following me on Twitter, and checking out my Patreon page. Thank you all so much for watching. Until the next one, this is Mikey Darepanzer signing out. See you, nerds.